Let's film it. So I bought this bike a year ago, a uh, year and a couple months. I've been riding it for a year, on and off, not like every weekend, but there was a period where we rode it every weekend for a couple months. Um, I'm coming off an 06 YZ250, so that's my frame of reference, but I've had a 250F sitting right there, and I've had a Honda 450 before. So I've, I've messed been around the, the block. And I've had a YZ125. Yeah. Um, this bike, so this is the off-road version, the 250X. Uh, it's my favorite bike I've ever had. It's super fun. Um, it's got the 18-inch wheel, which kind of helps, um, it helps put a little more mass behind the back wheel, uh, so it, so the, maybe it's not as snappy, keep a little bit of traction, and you can hit some rocks without worrying about the rim as, as much. Uh, still actually running the stock tires. Super good tires, but they're definitely wearing out now, so it's a little slick. Um, so I'll break it down into maybe a few categories here. The motor is the first category uh, that I'll talk about. In my opinion, this motor is a little mellow. Um, it's a two-stroke, and it feels like a two-stroke. It doesn't have a lot of low to mid-end mid power. This is stock motor, no pipe or anything, just a spark rester on it. We've got the uh, GYTR uh, oil drip edition. Yeah, this FMF bike drips oil. Like, every YZ I've had just drips a ton of oil. Um, so even compared to Jack's bike, he's got a reed valve on it and a gnarly. This bike feels slower. It's noticeably slower, but the power band is very predictable even on the low there's not a lot of like low end torque but it will just kind of keep going it just uh, doesn't stall super easily or anything like that so it can climb the slower hills just fine but you might need a little clutch work some of the enduro cross stuff needs a lot more clutch work than i'd like uh it can't really bring the front end up yeah uh, just as is maybe that's a gearing thing probably but it definitely doesn't have that low end maybe like torque that you see on a ktm 300 or whatever um and you'll probably see in some clips, you really, uh, it, I mean, it, the, the top end power is good. Uh, you can really get it going. She likes to eat. She likes to eat, she's hungry. Um, so you'll see some clips of that where you can you can really let her eat. Uh, the handling, stock suspension, I'm five foot eight, uh, 145 pounds. With gear, I'm probably like 155 pounds. Um, suspension's great, I haven't had to, I, I took a click out of the front compression and a click out of the rear compression. Uh, but other than that, it's been working super well. Actually, it works uh, maybe in the trails it's a little stiff. Definitely kind of skate around on the clay uh, quite a bit more than I see other people doing. Because uh, I see other people on their KTMs and they're like, they're like when I sit on this bike, it's still pretty tall. Like the sag is perfect. It's like, I think I have it at 100 millimeters. Um, but the bike just feels tall. It kind of just sits on top of the dirt. It doesn't like have that really Cadillac feel that I see on some of the other bikes. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm a lighter rider, but it definitely skates a little bit on top of the trails because trails aren't aren't plowed usually, right? They're just hard pack. Either it's like clay, slippery, or dusty, so it skates around a bit. On the motocross track, it works great. Uh, you can you can come into ruts super fast, uh, lean it over, hit jumps, braking bumps, or it stays stable. It's just I don't know. I I really enjoy it. I probably could make it a little better if I really spend some time on it but i haven't had any issues with that um the brakes are okay uh coming off my 06 my 06 i put an oversized rotor on it this thing already has like that size rotor so over the years they've beefed it up a little bit but i think the uh the front brake i've been having issues with it just it's almost like a like, factory default or defect it seems like i don't know it, it gets air in the line pretty easily and it's really hard to bleed it it's not it, it gets a cushy um spongy feel pretty pretty often like i couldn't on flat ground i with one finger i could not do a stoppy uh but if i like have a little help with a rock or something on my back wheel i could like i could do it with one finger but it's not like uh i i it leaves a little to be desired on the on the front brake i i'd want a little more there um and it might also have to do with my suspension why uh it maybe my suspension's a little stiff so it doesn't squat as much um when I'm on the brakes, so maybe that's a part of it. Uh, what else we got? Just the overall feel, just super, I mean, it's a YZ250. Uh, pretty much they've perfected it. It just feels super, it's just like the most fun bike ever. I could probably get a bike that makes my lap times better, um, but you don't even really notice it. You're just, go, I, you're just having so much fun on these things. Um, I don't know what else. I can weigh in for like a minute. Yeah, go for it. 
Do you want to hold this? Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I ride this bike periodically. Uh, this is my typical steed. Uh, this is a 2011. We won't do a review on it because uh, it'd be really short. It's just a bad bike. Uh, don't don't buy a, a nine-year-old bike. Um, but this thing, I mean, you've probably seen the side-by-side -side video we did a long time ago. And if you haven't, I'll link it in the description. I thought I was ripping on this. This bike is way faster. But I got on this thing and I smoked myself by like 30 seconds and I stalled for 10 seconds. Like it was, yeah. it's like, I mean, no competition. And you felt like you were going slower. I thought right? I was going really yeah. slow. It's just, I mean, a stable bike with good brakes. And the suspension, I mean, I'm, I'm about 190 and like, I'm kind of used to just Cadillac suspension, but this is, I mean, it works perfectly out of the box. Like, I feel like they sort of, they've perfected the like stock, good for everything, maybe not perfect for everything um, suspension. And like, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of torn. My next bike, I'm either getting a 450 just because I'm a larger person or like just another 250, you know, like this is, this is the hands down most fun bike, like bike I've ridden. The 250 F factor that, that thing's fun cause you can just keep it wide. But this, I mean, dude, you can just let her eat, you know? Um, so I don't know if you're, if you're on the fence about buying a YZ250, get off the fence, go to the dealer, go buy one. And they're really easy to work on. I've had to rebuild this one a bajillion times by my, my doing. They're really reliable. I just don't maintain it. And it, it takes me now like six hours to do the bottom end. You know, like that's, that's crazy. So go buy a YZ250. That's it.